How would you like to drastically improve your health, increase your chances of longevity, and jumpstart fat burn, all in 24 hours? And what if I told you you didn't have to do anything, that you just have to stop doing something? Eating. I have been fascinated by the idea of 24-hour fast for some time. And fasting has a lot of benefits. I'm not going to go into all of them in this video, but I have linked a couple of really good uh, YouTube videos about fasting in the comments. I'm going to focus on the two things that matter to me the most. The first is the, the fat burn component of it. I have a range of weight that I try to stay in. And right now I'm bumping uncomfortably close to the ceiling of it. I'd like to drift down three or four pounds. I'd like to be a little bit back more in the center of the weight I like to keep. So that's number one. That's a little shallow. The second reason is way deeper. I'm fascinated by a process I've been reading about called autophagy. Autophagy actually means eating yourself, which sounds dreadful, zombie-like, but it's actually one of the best things in the world you can do for your health. Here's the story. First of all, this isn't some fly-by-night crazy weight loss idea. It's not one of those things you see like if you just mix salt water and lemon juice, you'll lose 40 pounds in a week. This is really good science. As a matter of fact, autophagy has been studied by the Cleveland Clinic. And the man who first discovered it is a Japanese cell biologist who won the Nobel Prize of Medicine in 2016 for his work on autophagy. His name is, hang on a second, I'm going to really try and do this, Yoshimori Onsumi. And so this is real stuff. Uh, again, linked in the comments if you've got any curiosity about it. But autophagy especially seems to be the key to so many things related to our health as we age. Autophagy is essentially a system by which the cells clean themselves out. When they're under stress, they actually begin to offload parts of the cell that are old or damaged or no longer optimally functioning. It's kind of a cleaning out system. It's not unlike, I was talking to my friend Erica recently and she'd got one of those annoying things that you get when your iPhone is almost out of storage and you need to go through and delete a lot of stuff or you're cleaning out your closet, you know, one of those arduous tasks. Autophagy is sort of like that. You get rid of the things that no longer fit. You get rid of the things that are old, the things that are breaking down, uh, the things you forgot you even had. This is the sales process of culling out what no longer is really working and making way for the newer revived cells to be the dominant cells of the body. The suggested protocol for a 24-hour fast goes something like this. You eat dinner about 6 o'clock, completely normally, and then I hardly, I mean, I never eat for 12 hours. I don't eat at night. So by the time you wake up at 6 o'clock, you're already 12 hours into your 24-hour fast. And that's when I normally eat breakfast. So yeah, when I went past that 12 hours in the morning, I was a little hungry. Um, I was able to do all my normal stuff. I walked that, and I knew that fasting would be a little bit of a challenge, so I wanted to do it on a day when I was not working out. I've never had a talent for working out fasted, but I was doing my volunteer work of walking rescue dogs. So um, I drove over there, got there at nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock, I'm about you know 15 hours into the fast. I'm still feeling okay. I got really distracted with dealing with the dogs. Uh, the hunger kind of, you know, faded a little bit because I was mentally busy. I was getting the dogs in and out. We were walking. And then about 11 o'clock, the bottom dropped out for me. I don't know if you've ever had the feeling of your blood sugar dropping, but it was terrible. Uh, you're clammy. You're weak. You feel queasy. I was really mentally foggy. I knew I needed to leave before I lost control of one of the dogs. But when I was going, I hung my ID tag on the 
peg that holds the keys to the kennel and I hung the kennel key on the ID peg. I just wasn't thinking clearly at all. To the degree I was a little bit worried about driving home and I came so close, I'll be honest to you, with you, it just, just hitting a drive through and eating. And I was in what I now sort of see was kind of my personal valley of death, my lowest point in the fasting cycle. Um, I was feeling genuinely terrible and I was super tempted to break the fast. What happened to me was actually pretty predictable because I was at that point about 16 or 17 hours into my fast. And here's what happens. For the first 12 hours after you stop eating, your body comfortably burns carbs. It's got carbs in its bloodstream. You know, there's, there's sugar in your blood. It burns it. About 12 hours in, you've got less sugar in your blood. So I woke up the next morning feeling hungry, but basically okay. Uh, but that point, by that point, um, the body was having to work a little harder to get at the sugar, to get at the carb burn. It was actually having to access the glycogen that's stored in my muscles. So I still had sugar. The body was just having to work to get it, to get it out. So I'm going to work a little harder to get at the sugar. But man, you hit that threshold 15, 16 hours. It varies by person. Uh, everybody's metabolism is a little different. But at some point, you are going to completely run out of the sugar. And your body is going to go into autophagy. And your body is going to switch over to fat burn. And it's very ironic. It's just at the point where you begin to reap the most benefits, that's the point where you feel the worst. You're completely out of sugar, but the fat burn hasn't quite kicked in yet, and you got nothing for a minute there. The truth of the matter is your body doesn't really like burning fat. It prefers to burn sugar. That's easy. So there's a struggle in the transition, like there frequently is with almost any kind of transition. At this point, though, the body's kind of desperate. It's like, oh my God, I guess she's not going to give us any more fuel. We're going to have to access what's in storage. And there is that conversion point. That's also the point where the body begins to offload those damaged and older cells. So you're getting maximum benefit pretty much from 16 hours into your fast until the last 24. So if you can tough it through the valley of death, you've got eight hours of fat burn and autophagy. You're reaping the rewards for the last eight hours of the fast. A lot of people do intermittent fasting, and the most probably the most popular protocol is for people to fast 16 hours a day and eat in an eight-hour window. I personally, my son does this. I know a lot of people that like eat from noon to eight. Um, which is fine if you're intermittent fasting for just basic kind of, you know, calorie control, weight control, or if it's just the way your life shapes up. But the benefit of a 24-hour fast, I mean, and the reason I don't 16-8 fast, is it seems to me in a 16-8 that you eat again and pull yourself out of the fast just at the point where you're getting the best benefits. So I was really determined, since I had made it to the 16-hour threshold, to get myself through that threshold and into the room of fat burn and autophagy. So obviously I made it home or you wouldn't be seeing this video. And about a couple hours later, I kind of you know rested for a while. I felt fine. It was very strange. It's like I got a second wind. And the second wind was obviously because by that point I was officially, officially and efficiently burning fat. And I felt a lot better. I was mentally clear. Um, again, mildly hungry, but nothing horrible. So I um, made it to six o'clock. And the really interesting thing is when I ate, I didn't overeat. I wasn't starving. Um, by 24 hours, you've kind of got it licked. And I pretty much ate a normal meal. And I checked and I had, uh, for what it's worth, lost a pound, uh, a little more. Um, that was probably water weight, I mean, as we all know, but I definitely had at that point, as I was checking with my lumen, my metabolic tracker, I'd been in uh, fat burn for quite some time by that point. So, was my 24-hour fast a success? I frankly wasn't sure. I got through it. It was doable. 
but it was tough. And what I want to do is fast for autophagy two or three times a month. Give my body that benefit, maybe even once a week. But I'll be honest with you, it was tough enough that I was like, whoa. And I did it on an easy day. Am I going to be able to talk myself into doing this over and over again? Mostly because of that sinking valley of death feeling about 15 or 17 hours in. Then I started thinking. There's no rule, is there, that you have to fast from dinner to dinner. What would happen if I fasted from lunch to lunch? And I think they usually recommend that because most people have, they live with other people and have families and they want to be able to eat dinner with other people. That's not a factor for me. I like to eat a big lunch anyway. So I thought, oh, if I fasted from lunch to lunch, then I would hit that nasty 15, 16, 17 hour window from like three to four in the morning when I'm asleep anyway, I could sleep through the crash. I mean, who cares if you're tired or you're not thinking clearly at four in the morning when you're asleep. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and I'm going to do it this time, noon to noon. And the really exciting news is I'm inviting you to do it with me. This time I'm gonna talk through the 24 hour fasting experience, uh, pretty much hour by hour, letting you in on how I feel at different points, what I'm doing. And we'll see if that 24 hour, hour fast is more sustainable to me. Uh, so I really hope you will join me for my next video. And at least kind of, you know, in an abstract way by watching the video, kind of fast along with me. I would love to think I was having the companionship. And I think it'll be pretty interesting anyway. I am going to um, kind of keep track of how I feel at different points in the experience and again use my Lumen Metabolic Tracker to kind of just see where I am on the fat versus carb burn spectrum. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I think 24 hour fast can be very beneficial to a lot of people for a lot of reasons. I think they're a great thing to have in your health arsenal and a great thing to have in your weight loss arsenal. So look for the next video. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to try it again.